Ubuntu developers never take a break, and six months on from the focal fossa, they're back with a new beast of a release. Meet Ubuntu 2010, aka the Groovy Gorilla. In the next three minutes, I show you all that's new and notable about this release to help you decide whether it's worth upgrading to. We start at the Apps Grid, which is improved in Ubuntu 2010, courtesy of GNOME developers and the recent GNOME 3.38 release. The Frequence tab is gone. Instead, the smorgasbord of shortcuts you see before you can be reordered and rearranged however you wish. You're literally free to mix things up. App folders are neater too. Shortcuts can be randomly ordered and the folder name edited with ease. When more than nine shortcuts are in a folder, they're separated into pages to keep things tidy. As well as helping you organize apps better, Ubuntu 2010 also tackles your work in social life. How? By showing you your upcoming calendar events beneath the calendar widget in the message tray. Laptop users no longer have to hunt for a hidden setting to show battery percentage in the top bar, as a toggle for this is now provided in the power panel. You can share private Wi-Fi hotspots faster in 2010 using uniquely generated QR codes, which are scannable by other devices. A muted microphone warning appears in the top bar during audio calls and app recording. And Groovy also boasts better fingerprint login support. Ubuntu 2010 apps include LibreOffice 7.0. This version of the popular Office suite comes with a brand new icon set exclusively for Ubuntu and adapted from the Yaru icon set. It works great in Ubuntu's dark mode and with LibreOffice's ribbon style UI. Firefox users on Ubuntu can enjoy high-precision touchpad scrolling in the standard Zorg session. The Thunderbird email client gains an integrated calendar and adds user-friendly support for PGP encryption. The built-in screenshot tool has a new look. There are a bunch of new photographic wallpapers to pick from. And Ubuntu 2010 desktop now supports the Raspberry Pi 4. One small thing, GNOME developers have finally added a visible restart item to the status menu after years of users asking for one. In summary, Ubuntu 2010 Groovy Griller is a modest, well-measured upgrade to last April's LTS release. It ships with the latest open-source tech and rides atop a newer Linux kernel, meaning there's stellar hardware support and great overall performance, but is perhaps a little too light on new features to lure in those who love their LTS releases. <laughs>